Hey, what's up guys? John Chacon here. Wanted to let you guys know what my take on a lizard crawl was uh, versus a bear crawl, all these other crazy animal movements that we do. Uh, but I want to spell it out for you so you can enjoy it during your workout. More than anything, it's, it's a form of locomotion that I like to do because we tend to get stagnant, we tend to move. Yeah, we're gonna get strong in positions like the squat, the hip hinge, lunges, those kinds of things are great. But we also wanna move, we wanna get that little instinctual, animalistic type movements, if you will, in our bodies. Uh, when we're on the floor like that, we're having to brace with our shoulders, elbows, wrists. We increase flexibility in those areas. We learn how to brace. We also learn how to keep our hips up. We learn how to extend our hips, our legs, ankles, knees, everything. Uh, and you just become an ultimate all-around warrior. So check it out, guys. I will show you uh, what the lizard crawl is first. First off, don't, don't think about it too much. Just kind of do it. Uh, but keep your back level to the ground as much as possible. Try to increase the swath or the range, I guess, of your arms and uh, your legs. So I'll do my best to show you guys and I'll show you what a bear crawl is compared to it. You notice hips are up a little higher, legs are in a little different position, um, but you'll, you'll see. So hopefully this will help you out. So the first one is lizard crawl, check it out. Alright, hopefully that spelled it out for you guys a little bit, but uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed the workout, love to hear your feedback, and I'll see you guys when I get back uh, from Vegas, but love y'all, peace, strong every day, out.